It's Amy Zabie with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for Friday, November 11. Today is Veterans Day in the United States, and this is a day where we honor all surviving members who have served in any branch of the military in the United States. So to all our vets, thank you for your service. Last week I talked a little bit about co events on college campuses, including one in London, and the Students for Justice of, in Palestine group that has been rallied against by several prominent members of actual peace-loving groups. I want to continue that discussion because the, uh, in the first week of November, published in the Jewish Telegraph Agency, a new study was released by researchers from the Maurice and Marilyn Cohen Center for Modern Jewish Studies at Brandeis University. And in this study, they examined 50 college campuses and noted several disturbing um, realities. First, Brooklyn College, Northwestern University, many schools from the UC California system, which I have reported on repeatedly over the last year, has correlated that an overall hostility on campus against the state of Israel and its policy is um, affecting the hostility that Jewish students feel on campus. This is pretty interesting because we don't hear that Iranian students or Chinese students are feeling any kind of pressure from the fellow students or activist groups who are against such policies of oppression and whatnot in Iran or China, for example. And more sadly, the University of Wisconsin, the University of and Illinois, and Rutgers University found little correlation between the atmosphere on campus regarding the state of Israel or any hostility towards it and the overt discrimination being uh, felt by Jewish students. The report seems to say that the anti-Jewish atmosphere on those campuses is good old-fashioned anti-Semitism and not related to any particular event happening with the nation state of Israel. Most revealing, and probably not surprising, is that the correlation of all such anti-Israel and anti-Jewish atmosphere and arguably anti-Semitic activities on college campuses is linked directly to the level of activity of a group called the Students for Justice in Palestine. Where they go, so goes the hate, as it seems. May I send out a kudos, however, to my home state of Virginia, where their actions are to, or their activities are to quell this correlation. At the George Mason University, located in Fairfax, Virginia, the SAJP is supposed to have next month their annual conference. A group of legislatures and pro-Israel activists have sent a letter to the university president on behalf of concerned citizens and the Jewish community as a whole to cancel this event to be held, held at a public, on public ground. The letter expressly explains how the SJP group is anti-Semitic and anti-Israel and fuels intimidation and fear amongst Jewish students and pro-Israel students and faculty members on campus. This group incites violence and criminal activities and is an assault on the liberty, rule of law, and safety of all the citizens in the area. The letter noted that the Virginia House of Delegates and Senate has already passed a resolution condemning BDS movements within the state as a whole. Therefore, the rally the SJP plans to have next month to promote BDS activities is a violation of this resolution already passed. The letter continued to mention that the hate field speech and violent behavior must not be allowed at any facility in the state of Virginia, let alone one that is funded by the taxpayers. Notable signatures included state senators, members of the American Security Now, and the Endowment for Truth in the Middle East. To see a follow-up or progress on the result of this letter received by the president of George Mason University, please follow up by searching the group on Facebook called Fighting BDS. You can also check the Jerusalem Post newspaper online as they were the first to publish this article. Everybody have a great weekend. Please honor the veterans of your armed services in whatever nation you live, with, live in and thank them for their service and their protection and their sacrifice. Shavua Tov, have a great week and Shabbat Shalom.